What's up guys, Hamsugu here with a new video and welcome to Viable Rating Specs for the Mage on Primal WoW. Today I'll be looking at two specs which are Arcane Frost and Fire. I've been rolling around with multiple specs, meaning Fire with Icy Veins, Fire with, Ar with the ma uh, Mana Regeneration Talents, um, Full Frost and Arcane Frost and I've come to the conclusion that as of right now, uh, these are the two Viable Rating Specs. On Primal Wow. They might change in the future, but as of right now, I feel like these are the most um, valuable and most viable rating specs. So, um, first off, I'm going to talk about Arcane Frost. Arcane Frost basically meaning Arcane all the way up to Arcane Power, and then Frost all the way up to Arctic Breach and Frost Channeling. I will show you guys the talents that, I, that I've chosen. I'll, I'll, uh, tell you, uh, I'll tell you why I've chosen these talents. And this is by no means the absolute definitive way you should spec i mean there is there are some talents what that you can move around if you prefer one or the others and if that's the case i will definitely mention that so without further ado let's start off with the arcane frost spec um i'm gonna start off with three points in arcane focus increases your chance to hit and reduces the mana cost of your arcane spells by three percent basically you know to give your um your sheep a bit of extra hit so um you have less chance of resisting, you know, if, if you need to sheep a, a mob real quick, you have less chance of the mob resisting it. That's always nice. And the mana cost, well, mana cost isn't really an issue with Arcane Frost. You have, trust me, you have plenty of mana with this pack. So, yeah, it's mostly because of the hit. Um, Arcane Subtlety, two points in this. Uh, reduce the chance your helpful spells and damage over time effects will be dispelled by 30% and reduce the threat caused by your Arcane spells by 40%, basically. It's nice that you get less chance of these spells and reduced threats. Um, you're not going to cast arcane spells a whole lot, such as arcane explosion, because when it comes to AOE, like flame strike and blizzard combined is the preferred way to go AOE. Um, the only situation where this is kind of handy is during Black Moon Lair when there's a mob with arcane weakness. You can use your arcane missiles and then you will have less chance of getting aggro because of the reduced threats. So yeah, there you go. Moving on to Arcane Concentration, 10% of, um, I've put 5 points in there, it gives you a 10% chance of entering a clear casting state after any damaging spell hits a target. Basically, if you get clear casting, your next spell is free in terms of mana. And that's uh, it's very nice, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. And uh, we will build upon that Arcane Concentration later on in the talents, but I will, uh, I will talk about that later on. And 2 points in Magic Absorption. This is where you can move talents around. You can decide to put one more point in Spell Impact or maybe a point in Student of the Mind. I prefer to have two points in Magic Absorption because it gives me one resistance per level and I'm level 60 so that means 60 resistance per um, per resistance that you can have. So that's Arcane Resistance, Fire Resistance, Nature and so on and so on. I like this because it does make you a little bit less squishy um, because you know when there's fire damage involved which is pretty much all the time in black and lair and molten core it's nice to have that little bit of extra resistance so you get less damage and you can take a little of uh, you can take the edge off when it comes to you know the healers and everything so that's definitely nice moving on to focus magic increase the chance increase the target's chance to critically hit with spells by three percent when the target critically hits the caster chance to critically hit with spells is increased by three percent for 10 seconds Basically what happens is, you cast on someone else, he gets a crit, you get the buff. It's pretty awesome. If you're a mage, you should definitely get this. Every mage in the raid will have this pretty much, with maybe the exception of one or two. But we, um, what will, usually what will happen is you have a bunch of mages in the raid group, they'll exchange focus magic, and then you'll all, you can all benefit from that buff. It's pretty awesome. Uh, spell impact, two out of three. Um, this is where I traded one point um, to put in Magic Absorption. And so what Spell Impact does, it increases the damage of your Arcane Explosion, Arcane Blast, Blast Wave, Fire Blast, Scorch, Fireball, Ice Lance, and Cone of the Cold spells by an additional 4%. If you had 3 points, it would be 6%. The reason I didn't take six, uh, 3 points is because none of these spells really matter that much when it comes to Arcane Frost. I mean, it doesn't... For instance, it does not... Um, increase the damage of Flame Strike or Blizzard, so that is the AOE aspect gone, and it doesn't increase the damage when it comes to uh, Frostbolt. 
So again, barely a benefit here. Basically, they're just a bunch of filler talents. And I did not go with Student of Mind because, as I said before, mana is definitely not an issue when it comes to um, Arcane Frost. So, yeah, it's a bit, it's a little bit useless to throw it in there. Right, moving on to Presence of Mind. When you activate this, you get an instant cast. Very handy. It's a little DPS increase, and I guess it works in PvP too. So that's nice. Arcane Mind, four points in this. I want, you know, we want to go with five points, obviously, but you can only. Put four points in here because once you've put this one and this one you move on to the next three and you want all those points so we can only put four points in here which increases our total intellect by 12 percent basically more intellect more more uh more chance to crit and a bigger mana pool moving on we got arcane instability increases the damage done by your spells and your critical strike chance by three percent that's awesome it's a nice dps increase and arcane potency this is what i was talking about when when i was um when I mentioned that we would build upon Arcane Concentration. Basically what this does is increases the critical ch strike chance of your next damaging spell by 30%. So, after gaining Clear Casting Presence of Mind. So what happens is you get Clear Casting Presence of Mind, you get 30% extra crit chance for your next spell. That's pretty awesome. And then the main reason we're Arcane, we're, we're arcane Spec and that is Arcane Power. When activated, your spells deal 20% more damage while costing 20% more mana to cast. Again, the damage is awesome, and the um, the mana cost isn't really an issue because again, we have plenty of mana. So that is the arcane tree done. We're moving on to the frost tree because we have nothing in fire. Moving on to frost, we have five points in improved frost bolt. Reduces the cast damage of frost bolt by half a second. Makes perfect sense. Ice shards increases the critical strike damage bonus of your frost spells by 100%. Basically, if you would hit for the Frostbolt for a thousand, and you would not have the talent, you would crit for fifteen hundred, and with these three points, you will crit for two thousand. Uh, moving on, three points in precision, which gives us three percent extra hit, and um, if you're going PVE, hit is key. That is the most important stat you will be focusing on. So any talents that will give you extra hit, you should get them. Just three out of three. No questions. Icy Veins, another very handy talent. When you activate when you activate this, it hastens your spell casting, increasing spell casting speed by 20%, and reduces the pushback suffered from damaging attacks while casting by 100%. So yeah, it's a bit of a haste trinket, really, and it's really awesome to combine with Arcane Power. It, 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 it allows you for some excellent burst. Trust me on this, it's awesome. Piercing Eyes, 6% extra damage to your Frost Spells. Why the hell not? 6% extra damage. Definitely get that. Arctic Reach, 20% extra range for your Frost Bolt, Ice Lands, Deep Freeze, and Blizzard Spell. And increases the radius of your Frost Nova and Cone of Cold Spell by 20%. Basically, this means you can... It's easier for you to stand at max range. For certain fights, this is very handy. And then the last three talents are Frost Channeling, which reduces the mana cost of all spells by 10%. And more importantly, it reduces the threat cost by your frost spells by 10%. So yeah, you can go 10% more crazy than if you would not have these talents. So there you go, guys. That is the full Arcane Frost pack 31020. I'm going to activate my second spec, which is full fire. Bam, there we go. That is, uh, let me just go to Arcane T. It's 20310. And let's start with the fire tree first. So, five points in improved fireball, half a second of my fireball, makes perfect sense. Ignite, your critical strike from fire damage spells cause the target to burn for an additional 40% of your spell damage, or your spells damage for over four seconds. Basically, if you crit, target gets a nice dot, which is awesome, more damage. Three points in World of Flames. Now this is where, again, you could move some talents around because I've already taken five points in Ignite, so you could put it in Pyroblast if you want to. You could put it in Impact or anything like that. I chose World of Flames basically because it increases the critical strike chance of your Flame Strike, Pyroblast, Blast Wave, Dragon's Breath, Living Bomb, Blizzard, and Arcane Explosion by 6%. And... Flame Strike and Blizzard are the key words here because when you're AoEing, you're using those two, and 6% extra crit chance for those two spells 
that is awesome that is a big dps increase so we're definitely going to go there i put three points in there two uh, two points in flame throwing uh, which will give us six yards for all our fire all of our fire spells except frost fire bolt but we, but we don't have that yet because it's vanilla right now so that is awesome that will give me a total of 41 yard range which will allow which will make it like a lot easier for me to stand up max range so it's easier to avoid the curse during the first boss of mc i actually forgot the name sorry about that <laughs> i forgot the name but yeah it makes it a lot easier to stand up max range gives you less chance of getting affected by a de by a d curse or by a curse or anything like that so that's good 20 percent in burning soul reduces the pushback suffered from damaging attacks while casting fire spells by 70 percent and more importantly again reduces the threat caused by your fire spells by 20 percent so yeah reduce threats mainly the reason why you're taking these talents two points in there master of elements this is a very important um talent in the um, in the fire spec because i've talked about arcane frost before and how it is awesome in terms of mana you have a bunch of mana you can last very long that's not really the case with fire fire is a lot more um it's a lot more expensive in terms of mana so any talents that will give you the opportunity to fight longer you should get them so this one is great three points in there Moving on to critical mass, 6% extra crit chance for your fire spells. That is just awesome. And then we have two talent points left before we move on to this tier of talents. So we just put two talents in here, playing with fire, which increases all spell damage caused by 2% and all spell damage taken by 2%. So you get a little bit less, you get a little bit more squishy, but you know, 2% extra spell damage cost. It's not a huge DPS increase, but it is some DPS increase. So we're going with that. Right, uh, firepower, 5 points in there, 10% extra fire damage. Makes perfect sense, why not? And then combustion, which is the main talent of the fire spec. When activated, the spell increases your critical strike damage bonus with fire damage spells by 50%. And causes each of your fire damage spells hits to increase your critical strike chance with fire damage by spells by 10%. This effect lasts until you have caused 3 non periodic critical strikes with fire spells so basically what happens if you cast a buff you get 10% then you hit with fireball it's not a crit uh, you get two stacks so it's 20% you hit with fireball again you get 30% uh, critical strike chance and that goes up until you've reached three crits basically and also gives you 50% extra uh, critical strike damage bonus for let's see how long was this now oh, as long as the um, the buff lasts so when you've done three crits, buff goes away, and there you go. That's combustion for you. Moving on to the arcane tree, there's a few talents here that are different. Um, first of all, arcane focus once again, 3% extra hit. Uh, arcane subtlety, 2 points again, just to fill a talent. Uh, 5 points in, clear in arcane concentration for the clear casting. And now we have one point in magic absorption, which still gives me like 30 um, extra fire resistance, making myself a little bit less squishy. And three points in spell impact, because this actually gives us extra damage to our fireball. And since fireball is our main spell, we want three points in there. Now, um, I didn't put any uh, points in student of the mind. Now, this would be very nice if you're fire, because you need whatever you can get to increase your mana generation so you can last longer. But, um, based on my experience, I feel that I can last long enough without this talent. It, it's, it's not necessary. It's close. Some fights I've definitely been close that I had to use like a mana gem or evocate for like two ticks. But I can definitely last without this talent. And without this talent, I can put three points in spell impact. So, and you know, I really want that because it's awesome. I mean, it's it's six percent damage. Why would you not want it? So there you go. I did not choose it in the mind. Focus magic once again, awesome buff. Get it? Just one talent point. RK meditation, very important. As I said, you know, you need mana regeneration. You need to last longer with fire. So three points in there. Fifty percent mana regeneration, and then. Two points in Tournament of the Week, 
which means my fire my frostbolt fireball frost firebolt pyro blast arcane missiles arcane blast and arcane barrage deal eight percent more damage to snare or slow targets yeah that's eight percent damage it's pretty damn awesome i wanted to go with three points but you know we only have 51 talent points so there you go and those are the two specs man this is actually become a quite long video by the way Sorry, I did not make. I didn't didn't intend on making this very long, but I just wanted to show you guys the talents that I chose, why I chose them, and where there is some room to move around a little bit. So there you go. That those are both the rating specs that I think are viable on Primal right now. You can choose either one of those. I suggest trying out one of them. If you have dual talents, you can just get them both, try them out. If fire doesn't work for you because your mana pool isn't large enough then go to arcane frost and if you're willing to try to fire you can you know maybe with a few pots you can but you'll definitely need a big mana pool to, to uh, pull off fire so there you go those are the talent uh, specs that i think are viable for raiding i hope i was able to help you a little bit and uh, oh yeah damage wise of course i need to uh, i've I've talked about the talent trees and the specs, and you're one, probably wondering, okay, how much damage will I be pulling with these um, with these specs? Well, it's actually kind of iffy, because I've always thought that Arcane Frost was uh, not a superior when it comes to damage output compared to Fire. Um, but in reality, I've seen little change. I mean, Fire is slightly better, and it's definitely better when it comes to short fights. At least based on my own experience and look me looking at the meter but i don't know they're both kind of in the same ballpark actually i've i mean with my gear i've been able to do like a constant seven to eight hundred dps with both specs i mean i think fire is just slightly above so the difference is not huge but uh yeah i mean if you have like pre-raid best in slot gear maybe not like entirely like if you're level 60 you got some spell damage you, and with, with some consumables like a flask and wizard oil, you should be doing around 600 DPS on average with both um, with both specs. So there you go. That's like 600 if you're just starting the raid and probably like 7 to 800 if you're getting like the good stuff, which is full blood fine. You get a nice main hand, you get some enchants going. That's probably the DPS you should be aiming for. So yeah, that's all I have to show you for now, guys. I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm Hamsterville Gaming and have a good one.